Hey, it's Joel. I'm here with Garrett. Hey, everybody. And you would have seen the video where Garrett modeled this incredible Mega Man statue, and we're gonna put it together. And we thought it would be better if we put it together not in Garrett's studio. Correct. Not in my house or my studio, not in the middle of the road, not in the Antarctic, but. <laughs> Although that would be fun. In, in Antarctic. Well, it would be, but in <laughs> Carney's best bakery, yes. actually. What is this bakery, Garrett? This is K Town Cakes. This is actually where my wife, Chelsea, if you've watched my channel, you know who she is. She's the one who does all the making it look pretty afterwards. But this is, this is her, this is where she works. She does a great job. She does. But being that we're in a bakery, I think it's appropriate yes. that we, we put on protection. <laughs> I look pretty. Um, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now to put together the Mega Man yes. awesome model that you printed, we need parts. Parts. We have parts. We gotta work a it out for us now. Oh, a receipt, good. In Keep case we your want to receipt. Return him. Yep. I know this is a bakery, and we can't use frosting or fondant to put it together. We need glues, right? Do we have Correct. glues? We have glues. Okay. Glues. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Lovingly packed. Is there anything special about these glues that we're using? Uh, nope. I think it's just super glue and some accelerator, this so is, we don't have to hold it forever. This is extreme power. Extreme power. You want the stuff that'll hold good. Looks like that there's a little bit of sand. Gorilla glue. Yes. Because you need to touch the things up this occasionally. This is good sandpaper. It's like wax backed or plastic backed or it's, something. It's soft, so it's uh, it's easier to kind of like go around curved surfaces. That makes sense. I should look into that. All right, we're at the point where this needs to go together. Yes, we need to remove Let's some supports first, though. We, okay, that's first. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ooh, breaks away just dandy. It does. Yeah. And we're done. And we're done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> good to be here. See you guys next time. So then, just where the supports were, we can clean that up. So one of these is just slightly too big, and this is to be expected when you print anything. Yeah. That um, you will need to adjust just slightly rather than reprinting. Do we have something that could convince it to go in, like a hammer? We might break it if we do that. We could make a, a hammer cake and then hit it with it. One of these does fit. I confirmed it. <laughs> this one fits, so that one's good. This one I don't think does quite as well. No? Oh, it does. Okay. I've got the supports off of this. Sweet. So what's, do we need to, I mean, here's. Yep, I, I, those were test fits, so I couldn't get the face back out, so it's a good fit. But we have the other eye here, so. That fits well. It does. Right there. That looks good. Mega Man's face. So the face, I assume, is gonna go on here? Yes. Is that about right? And there's no pegs. Nope. Because you didn't have time for pegs. Correct. If I had a little more time on this model, I would have added in some pegs just to make sure everything slides on perfectly. But, you know, I was experimenting with some yeah, new yeah, software. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. We've got things together. Do we need to put more stuff together or? We might need a little bit of glue in this guy. Oh yeah, his eyeball might fall out. Yeah. Do we use the extreme power? Okay, I'll just uh, maybe. Just, yeah, coat, coat the inside there. I'm just putting it around the sides, right? Because as you slide that white piece yep. in. That'll be perfect. Should hit it. <laughs> oh, I boom. Believe. That happens. That does happen. That looks good. That'll dry Sweet. up well. Uh, yes. Does that need to go in his yes. firing hand? For sure it does. And I put the, try to put the, well, actually, let's just put it on the bottom of this guy. Okay. Because it's not perfectly flush around the edge, so it might not glue as well. Slide in there. Push oh, down. I see. That's good. Good deal. Yeah, so let's let's start with the uh, the hands. The hands, okay. Because we just these are just flat, so we need to glue these. This is the blaster. Okay. So that makes sense. Well, teamwork, right? That's right. Do we need to use any of the uh, accelerant? This one we probably should use accelerant. Okay. And it's sealed. <laughs> oh yeah, that worked well. Yep. Good. We're on the path to awesome. Blaster is together. Next is hands. Yes, and for this one, let's test fit just to make sure his fists going the right way and we don't have him like this or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Mega Man's got his blaster <laughs> in his hands like this, right? Something kind of like that, I think, right? Yeah? Yeah, that looks natural hand pose. It does. Okay, you've got a, so the, the thumb in, a, in this little line here kind of intersects. Yeah, that's exactly where I had it modeled. Look at that, okay, so. It's like I intended it that way. Finesse. Do it. Finesse. Do it. Finesse. Boom. Boom. It's like magic. It is. It's impressive and terrifying. <laughs> so from Hands there. together, blasters together. Leg, uh, what's this? Is this that, his? Yeah, uh, that's his underpants. That's his pelvis? Yep. Mega Man pelvis, underpants. Okay, so yeah, we should try the legs, I believe. Yeah. So the legs go like that. 
Which way? Okay, let's do that. Yep. Which way is front on his pelvis? Um, there is a slight bulge. <laughs> that is front. Okay. Okay, so these I'm not 100% sure which way they go. I see. Do they line up well? Does uh, that look natural? So it is definitely that way. Wait, who modeled this? Yeah, it's someone not good. Yeah, that, that's how it goes. It does? Okay, so this is right. So let's let's glue our leg pegs in. Let's for that. Okay, and then... Okay. Should be good. Now let's do the same over here. All right. Chelsea's probably cringing watching this. It's fine. Yeah, that's help. Good. Mega Man it's legs. The, it's the bakery's new mascot. That's right. Oh, that'll be easy one. Yep. That'll be super easy. You could always reinforce this with some epoxy if you really wanted to later. Very true. And I might go back and actually adjust the model, add some pins now that I know what we're working with. Oh yeah, that's gonna sit pretty. I love the colors too. The yeah. colors match really well. They do. This one, you just gotta make sure the point of the elbow, or the point is at the elbow. Right, makes sense? Does Is it? Yeah. Okay, well you're gonna hold it. Right. <laughs> Doesn't Ooh. look like it's going anywhere. Nope. The other one now. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that was like a trust ball. <laughs> okay, so now we just need to add the details to his helmet. Okay. Which will be a lot easier. Should they, be a lot easier. They only fit one way. Okay, Give so some... let's do the ears first. Okay. And these ones I don't think we need accelerator because it'll... You don't think? Well, the, the helmet kind of holds them in place once you fit them in. Oh, okay. They're tight enough. If you say so, we can tap it with this. No, that's not. <laughs> Against it. Ah. There we go. Ah, okay, okay. Perfect. Well, let's so get that other one, this one Get it? Yeah. Showing me up. <laughs> All right. I just applied the full Joel. Right, the full Joel. I don't, I don't have the full Joel. No. That's in. It's in. Now, last piece. Look at that. We're at the part now. Now the head does tilt slightly to the side. Okay, okay. That's about where we want it. Are, are you ready? I am ready. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, look at that. Okay. It look on to you? It looks pretty on. We have a Mega Man. <laughs> look at that! That's fantastic! Wow. So it looks like there are some gaps in places that could use some epoxy or more glue. Yep. But the color choices are perfect. And this isn't painted at all. This nope. is 100% 3D printed materials and the colors. And so, I mean, if you can tell it's 3D printed, but I think that's part of the joy in having For sure. this specific model. Yeah, especially this big. It's, it's really cool when people see this and they're just like, oh, that's huge. And you can tell them it's 3D printed and kind of go into the details of how you did it. Wow. Nice job, man. Hey, Garrett, what if someone out there wanted a model like this? Is there a way they can get it? Yeah, there's a couple ways. One, this specific one, I think we should do a giveaway. This one right here? This one right here. Well, if we're gonna give it away, I think we should sign it. For sure. Chelsea can sign it too. <laughs> Details for the giveaway of this model will be in the description. They'll be able to click the link. There'll be various ways to enter, such as subscribing to your channel or viewing this video. Correct. Right? Yes. Okay. Is this model gonna be released on your Patreon? It is actually gonna be on Thingiverse. It's gonna be on Thingiverse? It'll be free. Ooh, that's a free model for everybody out there. Good job, man. Thank you. Well, if you like this, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, leave a thumbs down. I don't know why they would do that, but thanks for watching. <laughs> and if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five. High five. Yay!